This is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we have a very special guest. You may introduce yourself. Oh, I thought you were going to introduce me. How oh, rude. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Leah. Do yourself. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Leah, also known as the Redheaded Witch here on YouTube. Well done, and on Instagram. And on Instagram. And you have a book. I have a book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really great at introducing yeah, myself. So yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing today? So basically, breakdown. Leah's here for visiting. She's here with me for almost a week. Almost. Yeah. Yes. And we were kind of like, we should do a video. Mm -hmm. So essentially we're doing a video here for YouTube. We're also doing an extended version over on Patreon. Mm -hmm. So if you aren't already a patron, go check that out. The link is in the description box. You also have a patron, but yours mm -hmm. is, is yours paid or is yours free at the moment? It's paid. It's paid as well. Mm -hmm. So I'll also link all of, obviously all of your stuff, mm -hmm. I'll yeah. everything in the description box. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, what are we doing today? We're kind of talking about, we got, a, we had a prompt on YouTube, on our YouTube, on Instagram, on our stories, just kind of like asking mm -hmm. you guys what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. And one thing that was kind of like repeated was to talk a little bit about our different folk practices. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing here today. Should so, yeah. we give some context for folks? Probably. Okay. So obviously, Ella is a German folk witch, yeah. and I am American. <laughs> yes, specifically in the Southern Appalachian region. Mm -hmm. um, so very different. Yeah, very different parts of the world. Yes, you did recently. So you grew up. You're Appalachian, but you mm -hmm. recently moved to the Pacific Northwest. Yes, recently moved to the Pacific Northwest in Washington State two years ago. Forks, Twilight. <laughs> Forks, Twilight, <laughs> just just for that. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So, and I live in Bavaria, I'm German, German Kiwi. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we are gonna just have a look. The first one that we were kind of thinking of doing is, just to kind of get us started, is three different types of spells or charms, mm -hmm. how we would mm -hmm. work them mm -hmm. differently in our practice. Mm -hmm. You're the guy or, you get to start. Or similarly. Or similarly? Yeah. What do you mean? Because obviously in Southern Appalachia, there were German immigrants. Oh, oh. yes, 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 that's okay. I get it. Mm -hmm. It's late. I had like my brains. She doesn't know what she's talking no, about. No, 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 no. So the first practice or the first working is for prosperity. So I decided that for my working, and I do have notes on my phone if you didn't guess. Yeah, we're gonna glance at the phone. Don't worry about it. Just ignore that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is but guys. So, oh. yeah, I actually noticed that you okay. have them here as well. Oh, really? Yep. Do you know what they are? What is, yeah, what is it? They're tree nuts. Fuck eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tree nuts. Yeah, but what tree? Um. What nut? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can insert a photo here. Yeah, I will. Okay. Let me yeah, show you what yeah, they look like. Door. Castanian. <laughs> okay, you know, we used to make little animal figurines out of them when we were in kindergarten. Cute. Mm -hmm. So, great spirit house. Mm hmm. So, buckeyes were used in southern conjuring and hoodoo practices, oh. specifically for prosperity, for good luck, as well as like growing sexual desires oh. because it represents a testicle. <laughs> oh, so you need at least two. <laughs> Good. But I pulled some um, Kentucky superstition from Daniel and Lucy Thomas. So there's a few of them. One subject to, if someone is subjected to a headache, they may prevent it by carrying a buckeye in their pocket. Okay. Um, they may also, you will have good luck if you carry a horse chestnut, which is also known as a buckeye. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. So yeah, you can place oh. them into charm bags. You can carry them in your wallet or in your purse to help kind of attract some good luck. Cool. Okay. So that's really <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like I didn't know that they're called Buckeyes. Yeah. Oh, is it, isn't it like a chestnut or what is it? It's yeah. It's like a, it's chestnut. a chestnut, right? Mm -hmm. ah. Have you noticed how the casing looks exactly like a datura? Oh, yes. Outside. Yeah. I kind mm -hmm. of like that fascinates me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. But okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of them. I collect them. I have like an entire bag full of them. Yeah, I know. Probably down there actually. When we were walking. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Yeah. I love them. Mm -hmm. I always collect the ones with the stripes. Oh yeah. Especially. So yeah. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we had always made them into little figurines, like with a toothpick. Okay. Did you not do that as kids? 
I don't remember that, no. Mm. Okay, so we would make like, for example, like a horse and you'd have like the legs out of toothpick and then yeah. the body, toothpick, body, legs again. Okay. Toothpick for the neck and then the face is another so one like, of those. Okay. So I feel like you could do quite a little bit of magic with that too. I think mm -hmm. that would probably be more modern, but... Yeah, but still. Still? I mean, Very cool, yeah. I like that. Okay, so for prosperity... We're doing prosperity first. Yes. Prosperity. <laughs> prosperity. Here, I'd probably do the horseshoe. Mm -hmm. And as you see, mm -hmm. they're everywhere. And I mean, yeah. we have horses, so it's easy. Yeah. But <laughs> Oh, yeah, a horseshoe, and it has to be facing like upside like this. Controversial take. Then. Yeah, because if it's like this, all the luck tumbles out. Or it pours onto to... the person that's walking out the door. No. Or it pours out of the door. It needs to collect. <laughs> or it blesses the person that's going no, out the door. No, no, no. It needs to it needs to be able to collect. It depends on who you ask. Yeah. But here, you'd have it like this. Mm -hmm. I have seen people have it like... Or like, like slightly scale, but... tilted. Yeah, that's a good in between. I have had, I've, oh, yeah? I've had seen, like I've seen folks like do that before. Oh really? Where it's like kind of just like halfway tilted so that oh. it doesn't pour all the way out, but mm -hmm. it just like trinkles down to the person that's walking in and out of the door. Trinkle, a little trinkle. A little trinkle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think the horseshoe one would be very popular here. You see that everywhere. It is also protective, but I think it's more so prosperity. Mm -hmm. um, a good clover, mm -hmm. I think, is always good mm -hmm. as well. Clover mm -hmm. is... Well, it depends on kind of... Because for me, prosperity is almost a little bit more like prosperity and luck. Mm -hmm. For me, kind of go hand in hand because you need a little bit of luck to, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, so prosperity doesn't necessarily always mean financial Yeah. for me, like money. Right. But prosperity can also mean like... You know, the house that you're looking at, you're finally, mm -hmm. like, successful and you got luck yeah. that you're able to get that house. Or In the housing market. Yeah, this house, you need a lot of luck for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I twitch in America. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just, you know, like, prosperity. Like, I feel like it, it does oftentimes, like, go hand in hand with, like, money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, luck and money. Yeah. For me, that's prosperity. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that, Clover. There's, like some interesting ones with that i was reading about with i think it was sneezing Wait, mm -hmm. but this is like a reverse one technically yeah but it's very interesting so basically it was something along the lines of i'm gonna have to read this and i'll put the correct version on the screen yeah but if you at night sneeze three times there's like burglars walking around your house mm -hmm. stuff like that like these like superstitions essentially yeah. okay that are really interesting but like sneezing mm -hmm. can sometimes Hmm. Yeah. And also, I know that certain folklore in certain regions, and I'm pretty sure this is pretty common, like I know Carlos, mm -hmm. he's Latvian, my husband is Latvian, he's big and there's no whistling inside the house. Oh, we have you, that too. You know? Because mm -hmm. whistling, yeah. you'll like lose all your money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll go poor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was like, I've never really heard of it growing up in Southern Appalachia specifically. And there's quite a difference, not quite a difference, but there will be some differences between Northern region in the southern region but something that i recognize circulating around specifically in online spaces is you know the whole like don't whistle outside in the woods in appalachia it's like the, what's yeah it but like Shapes i actually Shapes never Shapes heard Skinner. of that oh, growing okay. up oh. like i think i don't know exactly where it came from and i knew i've talked with like a few folks who share the same like we don't really know where it came from okay. or like why all of a sudden like Interesting. oh don't look into the night and everything and it's like really spooky and i'm like where did this come from because i mean as a kid i was naturally afraid of the dark so yeah, i always yeah, avoided the woods sure. anyway but i almost think it kind of came from like because we have a lot of wildlife in mm. the appalachian region so like coyotes and oh, bears sense. and everything like that so maybe maybe that's where it came from but but also, this is a little bit of histor historical thing. It kind of is a Christianization aspect to being a scared mm -hmm. of the forests, mm -hmm. um, because when the Christians came to spread into Europe, yeah, they actually cut down a lot because Germanic and also Celtic and pre-Christian pagans were very, very like the forest was their safe haven. Mm -hmm. There's so much worship around groves, sacred mm -hmm. trees. You know the the Yggdrasil, like the Norse. Mm -hmm. tree symbol essentially right or like celtic also have that yeah they're obviously very similar in many aspects because they had like movement yeah. together yeah 
um, forests were such a significant part of like safety. Mm -hmm. You'd find food there, you'd find shelter there, mm -hmm. and they were like a safe space. And mm -hmm. then the Christians kind of came along, cut a lot of the big, big, big trees down, especially. There's actually a legend, I don't know who it was, that they wanted to cut a specific tree down, mm -hmm. um, I think it was the Romans, and the soldiers were so scared to cut that specific tree down yeah. that the leader, I think it was like Caesar, some Caesar, mm -hmm. he ended up having to cut it down himself. Wow. But a lot of our old ancient trees were cut down by the Christians mm -hmm. and this idea of like the devil in the forest mm -hmm is very Christian mm -hmm. and like the evil in the forest and like the witch lives in the forest right it's very Christian yeah so that's really interesting that's also interesting because obviously like when it's specifically if you're looking at like the Scotch Irish that that mm. immigrated over and then immigrated from the north down to the south like many of them recited like in yeah. the hills and yeah. like in force. So I think, I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, like they were like, oh, this is home. And exactly. there's dense woods. Obviously logging became very important because yeah. of infrastructure exactly. <laughs> and yeah, building cabins. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's another thing, like historically, it's so hard sometimes to find archeological evidence of certain things because mm -hmm. they were made out of wood. Yeah. And they're just biodegraded. Yeah. So, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, next one is protection. Protection. Okay, protection. What would you do for protection as an witch? So, it's funny that you mentioned like horseshoe for mm -hmm. prosperity, that you think that that is specifically for prosperity, because for me, I feel like that is more protection. Okay. Because of it being made out of iron. Yeah. But something that is specific to our region and more so like in the deep south, but it did make its way up into Western North Carolina where I'm from, is bottle trees. So, oh, <laughs> so typically it is. Look um, at her educating me today. It is you use bottles like kind of like blue bottles, and this comes from like hoodoo practice practices mm -hmm. and southern conjuring. But the blue, the color of the blue, is like the haint blue, mm -hmm. where like haint meaning translating to haunting, translating to spirit. Mm -hmm. So it was believed that spirits couldn't cross water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the blue was oh. a representation of water, but you know, these specific bottles were very easy to access. Okay. Um, and so instead of like discarding them, folks would actually hang them in trees. Aww. So you'd hang them like in your front yard. There's a few different ways to do it. You can either just like tie like some thread to them and hang them in a tree, or there would be specific like structures where it would be, you would kind of take the, the bottle and like put it in this like branch kind of thing. And a really interesting story is that my friend and I, my high school best friend and I, we were driving up to Boone, uh, North Carolina, which is about an hour and a half to two hours from where I grew up. And we actually got lost on the way back. <laughs> oh, I think I know this Because at the time we did not have GPS or anything Sold. on the phone. <laughs> we had like either a GPS that you had to buy mm, or, the map. or a map. And so at the time, same, same. yeah, we got lost. Okay, so this is what they look like. Oh, how interesting. And is there anything in the bottle? No, it's empty. Huh. Yeah. So like this blue color, it's like a bright blue color. It's a very strong blue. Um, but bright as blue. you can see, yeah, it, it kind of translated over time. So like as bottles kind of trans, like translated into different colors and things, it kind of became like whatever whatever bottle or bottle you had. And would the different bottles signify different things? Kind of like color correspondences? Or not no, really? not really. Like I think just anything that was like flashy and like deter like spirits away. That's so interesting. Um, but the blue is like more traditional and. Yeah, it was more common. But anyways, as my friend and I were making our way home, we like saw this very eerie house. Like there was just this weird alien thing. Ooh. I can't describe it. There was like this, it wasn't like a scarecrow or anything like that. It mm -hmm. just like looked like a really weird figure mm -hmm. in the front yard. But then there was one of those like bottle trees too. Okay. And I was just like, Ooh. that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So that is something that is from our region. Cool. I don't, I wouldn't personally, I would probably like hang some bottles mm -hmm. um, or wind chimes. Yeah, wind chimes. Wind chimes are great. I think like with the noise and everything and also the material, like what it's made out of. Mm -hmm. Super helpful too. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think for protection for me specifically, mm -hmm. but also in read like an old folklore, and you probably know this one too, is beans and peas that you would stray at your house door because a witch, for example, yeah. if she wants to enter, or if the witch, they, if they want to, would. If they wanted to enter the home, yeah. obviously it wasn't just witches, but it was more so witches. Yeah. They'd, they'd have, have to, to count them. They'd have to count them. Yeah. Um, so that's one. And then, because they get really easily distracted. And yeah. I think that's also the devil. So the devil also. Yes, can we have that devil. too. Yeah. yeah. Or like coins. Yeah, little mm -hmm. things essentially, right? And then also personally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard more peas and beans, mm -hmm. like dried mm -hmm. ones, obviously, not mm -hmm. soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cooked beans. Cooked beans. Cooked beans. Yes. And another the one that I personally really love is mm -hmm. the Alraune. The Alraune mm -hmm. is the mandrake. And the mandrake spirit is a house spirit. German Germans in general are so big on like house spirits, mm -hmm. house gnomes, house spirits, the man the Alraune. And the mandrake you would have like the root mm -hmm. and you'd have a little spirit house for it, like a little box for it and there is like you can dress it up and everything mm -hmm. and you pour like offerings like wine over yeah. it to feed it and it'll like help you in your house mm. and protect your house as well nice yeah but there is a little bit of folklore around that too which i'm not sure if this is necessarily specific to german yeah. i've seen it in german that only a black dog can pull out the mandrake mm. um because if a human tried to pull it out he'll die because I think, and I'm not sure if this is the screech or if it's just like in general yeah. the mandrake. I've seen various versions yeah. where they say like, if it is the shriek, for example, the shriek is so like mm -hmm. crazy. It's where Harry Potter obviously gets it from. But yeah, it's like an actual piece of folklore. Mm. So you probably know this. Yes. We also have, we don't have the same mandrake, mm -hmm. but we have the mayapple. Okay. Mayapple. Oh, but that's very similar. Isn't that also Mandrago? It's in the same yeah. family. Mm -hmm. It's a cousin to it. Yeah. <laughs> but... Like much of American culture, yes. I would like say they're cousins. <laughs> yes. Like you've got the same grandparents. Yes. But something that I know of that is if a woman is to pull it, like mm -hmm. it's a fertility working. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the nightshades mm -hmm. also are... To do with sex. Yeah. Fertility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the belladonna... She'll either kill you, or she'll make you love you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you can't slay them, lay them. Yeah. Or no, other way around. Them, slay them. There we go. Yeah, lay them, slay them. But I saw that on Facebook. Yeah. It was really, really awful. Um, but yeah, so probably the mandrake. Mm -hmm. I don't know, spirit. And personally, I, I like plants and stuff, right? Protective ones that are like spiky. Yeah. So hawthorn. Bramble, yes. we've got so much bramble mm -hmm. in Germany. And then you have witches bottles that are like more, they're, I think they're more England, mm -hmm. but they've kind of like. Spread. Yeah, there's some artifacts that were found in the Southern Appalachian region. Yeah, too. as well, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me. <sighs> I don't have any time. I know, I had a coffee before, but all it does is make me sleepy. No, hyper. Oh. It makes me sleepy. <laughs> it makes me sleepy too, but I get, I, I first have like a hyper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the third one is a hex. A hex. Because we love a good hex. You go first. Uh, <laughs> so I love a good hex. I love a good curse. You know, I think there's a time and place for it. Person and the time is now. <laughs> exactly. You know who we're you talking know about. Who we're talking about. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Now you definitely know who we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, I'm getting all red. Anyway. <laughs> um, so how would I do a hex? So purse so this is one I find really cool. This is a old folk chime that dates back to like 1400s and it's dated to Germany and essentially you'd hang a figure and I'm not gonna give too much detail because you know I don't want you know who <laughs> <laughs> to be able to undo this but essentially you hang a figure into the tree mm -hmm. and then the wind is very disturbing to that figure mm -hmm. as they should be very disturbed disturbed yeah so Unwell. Exactly. So, 
Yes. So that's what you do. So that's what I would do. And personally, I love a good nightshade. Once again, you know, I grow various poisonous plants. Mm -hmm. um, I'd employ various poisonous plants. Mm -hmm. um, henbane is super popular in Germany. We have so much henbane folklore. It, it, it connects to so much various things so that's really really fascinating to mm -hmm. do a deep dive into henbane but or belladonna i have belladonna i have not to flex on anyone <laughs> i have henbane i have belladonna i have yeah. some datura seeds still i have a mandrake what else do i have been like I had Hellbor. Mm -hmm. She's asleep now. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to do foxglove, but my foxglove never took. I had seeds. Oh yeah. Foxglove never took. Dang. Very sentimental. We have a lot of foxglove. Yeah. In the Pacific I Northwest. remember. I saw those pictures. They look cool. They are amazing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. would you use foxglove for any sort of hexes? I would. Yes. Yeah. Now that I live in the Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. and it's local to me. Yeah. Like so. especially when it comes to like any sort of workings like that, mm -hmm. I tend to really like focus on where, like my surroundings and my personal like spirit relationships and foxglove is one that i started to really become familiar with especially mm -hmm. relocating mm -hmm. um i never came across it like where i lived in southern appalachia yeah so a very interesting timing as well yeah exactly <laughs> foxy and you you kind of like yeah work with the fox in itself too right yeah yeah that's an interesting one so well, how would you do a hex or a curse well i'd keep it to simple curse. stupid <laughs> <laughs> that's a motto I have. Honestly, like the best ones in my opinion are like, may your shoelace is always on time. May you always have a... Um, oh, yeah. Warm, like those are like little jinxes, the kinds, right? kinds, yeah. And if, we're specific, if we're talking specifically kinds of hexes, that's different. Yeah, yeah exactly. Also, yeah. like just to like cut you off once yeah, again. of course. Because that's what I do. <laughs> I love... I work really, really... So I grew up having sleep paralysis mm -hmm. and also like the sleep paralysis demon and now i work with that demon a lot yeah mm -hmm. and i love sending that demon on people's asses yeah i love being like like the witch's fetch almost yeah and i love being like i hope you have like i'm gonna like, i'm gonna send you a sleep paralysis demon yeah may you just have like the worst night ever <laughs> insomnia yes and just like be able, like that he's just standing there yeah you know and he's just like I don't no sleep. It's not fun. Yeah, it's not good. Long time ago. Love it. Yeah, I think for me, like, if there's anytime there's like a specific target, mm -hmm. I always go towards like having something to re represent yeah. that. Whether it is a poppet, which is typically like my route, or you know, in a world, modern world, where folks tend to have public spaces where they share their images you know it's not like before where that's true you kind of like you don't really have an identification or yeah. you know like if it if it's like <laughs> a neighbor rivalry mm -hmm. you don't really whatever you kind of like just take shit from their house yeah. but or something yeah but in a modern world it's very easy to mm -hmm. get people's photos yeah um, and so I the tend names, to kind of utilize, birthdays, yes, idol charts. especially are... when they share it online mm -hmm. and they like, share their entire lives online. The time they were born and everything. <laughs> so, you know, people are very like, and, and that's why I think as a practitioner, you know, I think you and I both, we use discernment. Yeah, um, you have to. Sometimes we say certain things to <laughs> like <laughs> decoy people away. Um, but yeah, I think I tend to kind of go that route where it's like any sort of representation of an individual is, yeah, it's kind of the right way. And just using, you know, just honestly, I really do use whatever I have on yeah. hand. Mm -hmm. Like I'm into sewing, so I have plenty of pins. Yeah. Um, and I have plenty of thread. Like mm -hmm. thread is really great, especially when you're wanting to kind of like do some knot magic and mm -hmm. seal seal someone, someone's mouth shut mm -hmm. <laughs> or hands tied. Yes, uh, God's yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's that's why I say yeah. keep it simple, stupid. It, I don't know where that came from, but that's something that I grew up learning. And so, yeah. not to call anyone, I'm not calling anyone stupid. It's fine. You're allowed I'm to call say these things. <laughs> I'm calling myself like <laughs> just keep it simple. Yeah. There's lots of stupid people. We know this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how we would. That's how I would approach. That's good. That kind of working. Yeah, I agree. I think overcomplicating things only mm -hmm. makes it overcomplicated. Yeah. I think it's important to be direct. 
yeah and like accurate Hmm. but not to make it complicated yeah right mm -hmm. like if you're working anything like be it healing be it like you know bane yeah. or um, yeah. you know boon like it needs to be it needs to know what the directions are right because you know we're, i'm anonymous so like the spirit needs to know where is it going what is it doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and making it too complicated yeah it just confuses, it confuses it's, it's you know confuses confusing. the situation exactly and there's too many variables that could potentially like yeah go, go wrong you know yeah i think something that i it's interesting to kind of see like how when when you're studying like older like workings mm. and practices you know things were quite simple like the whole like which is bullet like taking a, someone's photo or name or something mm -hmm. and like just like shooting it <laughs> <laughs> shooting it out the tree or oh, whatever wow. Like, but now the complexities of workings from what is like shared in online spaces specifically, yeah. like, I think the complexities have just, it's so different now. Mm -hmm. um, and because we have more available to us too. Yeah. So Which, I, yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, no, go for it. Yeah. But I think that's another thing that is like, just in general, not necessarily specific to this, but like speaking on that, it's always important to protect yourself and to mm -hmm. protect, you know, like your... Your bubble is a witch, essentially. Mm -hmm. Your bubble is a practitioner, mm -hmm. not to share too much. Um, yeah. And obviously, everyone's gonna have their own boundaries. Like, I know some people are like very big on like not sharing their altar. Yeah. Whereas, like, some people are like, myself, for example, I'm not gonna share an act of working. Anything that you do see is a reenactment, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we um, kind of talk talked about that before. We've talked about that before. Too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. not sure which video that was, but I'll link it. Yeah. Oh, I think it might have been one of, one of those, like, ten questions challenge. Yeah, Q maybe, like, like, like a tag thing. Yeah, like a tag mm -hmm. thing, exactly, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So that's a kind of... Yeah. So in case you have any other questions or you want to share your own three, like, these, you know, prosperity protection hacks, let us know in the comments or obviously make your response videos. I miss a good response video. I know. I miss like I just miss creating content for exactly. YouTube. <laughs> so exactly. Well, you 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 should you should be doing that, not to like you know copy poor Joe too much here. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this really informative. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Thank you also for Leah for being here. Thank you for hosting me. If you would like to know the perspectives of two folk witches and what we think are common beginner mistakes. We've got that covered in the Patreon exclusive video, so go check that out at the link below. Thank you everyone for watching. May you walk with your gods. Bye! Bye!